That is right, Keegan. The numbers alarming on paper, but it feels like many are not moved by the information. Some people are freely walking around and gathering without PPE and social distancing while COVID-19 continues to strike. We have seen plenty of people out and about shopping and dining and not following guidelines prescribed by the Department of Health. When you walk in the store, somebody that sneeze, you don't know it's an invisible enemy. So it's like, how effective is it? I think it's stupid for people not to wear them because I feel like you going out here and you know all these people, you know the coronavirus going around, first of all, and then you know all these people that's not wearing masks clearly don't care. Dr. Geraldine Dixon is a mental health therapist who specializes in anxiety and depression. She says it's natural for humans to want some type of normalcy because we are creatures of habit. One week you hear that masks work, you know, the next week you hear that they're not really reliable. I don't believe the masks have us none or none of that. None of that. I don't believe it. I know there's a lot of uncertainties both on the science end and also on the governmental aspects, but I think the biggest thing is is that a lot of times what people want is honest responses, right? They want honest knowledge of what they need to do. Dixon says when we don't get that information, we adapt to what we think is the safest option, which might include suggestions from friends and family. That may or may not be the best information. She says rather than hearsay, get guidance from places like the CDC website and share that knowledge with your circle and focus on your mental health to limit the anxiety about COVID-19 that we might be going through. We need to begin to focus on what's in our control versus what is not in our control. Now, Dr. Dixon says she also wants people to consider in those interesting, these interesting times that we're in, that it's okay to evaluate how we take care of our physical and mental health. And it's also a good time to adopt some new behaviors. Troy Johnson, 16 WAPT News at 10.